Hi friends, today I am here with one more problem on permutation combination. We will have a look at the problem. In how many ways 5 girls P, Q, R, S, T can sit in 5 chairs, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th if girl P doesn't want to sit on 1st and 2nd chair and girl Q want to sit in 2nd and 3rd chair. Now look here, here we need to find a beautiful piece of information. There are two different strategies here, they are given two different conditions. Girl Q want to sit in, look here, girl Q want to sit. This is nothing but a positive condition. Next look at this one, girl, sorry it is girl, okay, girl P doesn't want to sit. There are two conditions, one is a positive condition, second one is a negative condition. Whenever we have these kind of conditions, positive and negative, it's always better to first go with a positive condition. First I'll write down the problem in a simpler way. They are told P, Q, R, S and T. These are the five girls. They are going to sit in first, second, third, fourth and fifth. I'll just write it here. 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th. Okay. Now, we'll first look, as I have told, we'll first look at the positive condition. What does it say? Girl Q want to sit in 2nd and 3rd chair. It means this girl Q, she can sit only in 2nd and 3rd. Okay. Now what we'll take is, we'll first assume girl Q wants to sit in 2nd chair. So if girl Q want to sit in second chair, if girl Q want to sit in second chair, what is the possibility that Q can sit? Q can sit in only one chair because we have assumed that she is going to sit in second chair. So if girl Q sits in second chair, what about P? P doesn't want to sit in first and second. P can't sit in first chair, P can't sit in second chair. So how many possible ways are there for P to sit? So P can sit in any of this third, fourth or fifth. She can sit in any third or fourth or fifth. It means she can sit in any three possible ways. Next, P is done, Q is done. What about the left out people? Now look at this R, S and T. R, S and T can be seated in any of the three places because two places are fixed already. So this R, S and T, they can sit in any of the three places and that can be done in three factorial ways. So three students sitting in three places is nothing but three factorial ways. Now this is the first condition where Q is sitting in second place. Now let us assume like Q is going to sit in third place. So I will take it as Q sitting in third place. If Q sits in third place, there is only one possibility for a Q. Because Q wants to sit in second and third. In the first case, we have told that Q is going to sit in second place. Now, in the second case, I am telling that Q is going to sit in third. These are the only two possibilities. If Q sits in third place, what about the P here? P cannot sit in first and second. P cannot sit in first, P cannot sit in second and P cannot sit in third because Q is already placed. So P can sit in any of these two places, that is fourth and fifth seat. So P will sit in any of the two places. Next, the left out people, the three other people, R, S and T, they can sit in any of the other three remaining places and that can be arranged in three factorial ways. Three people sitting in three different chairs, that can be rearranged in three factorial ways. So what is the possible solution here when Q sits in second chair? That is three factorial into three. And when Q sits in the third chair, that is nothing but 3 factorial into 2. If you are going to combine this, that is nothing but 3 factorial into 5. There is nothing but addition of these two values. So that is nothing but 3 factorial into 5. 3 factorial is 6. 6 5 times gives 30. So for this question, in how many ways 5 girls can be seated? These 5 girls can be seated in 30 ways after applying this condition. Hope you have got this solution. For any doubts, comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Thank you.